Hello everybody, Mike Welch and Seabiscuit coming to you from Santa Anita with the Daily Racing Form Breeders' Cup Clocker Report brought to you by Spendthrift Farm. The action picked up today as expected. It's going to get really hectic here Saturday and Sunday. Got nine workers this morning, topped by none other than White Barrio. He's kind of been one of the big stories here all week long after having that work postponed on Monday. Everybody kind of wondering now what was up with White Barrio, who at his best can certainly win uh, the Breeders' Cup Classic if he repeats that the huge effort in the Whitney. And uh, I think White Barrio erased any doubts about how he's doing. In the 59 and 0.63 seconds on my watch, it took him to work five eighths of a mile. I really like this work today. He started off slow, picked up the pace on the turn, went probably just a little bit, and then when asked to finish, he really leveled out. Just visually, he was so impressive. Also on the watch, he won his final three eighths in 34 and three, final quarter mile in 23 flat, galloped out in about 13, galloped out well. Also, and the best part of the work almost for me, was the way he looked coming back after the work. He was just on his toes, full of energy. I just like everything about this work today. So if you think he's good enough to win, you think he can repeat that Whitney at the mile and a quarter, that is a bit of a question mark for him on classic day. Uh, he certainly uh, gave you that confidence after the work out this morning. Now, uh, as he was coming back from his work, White Barrio actually crossed paths briefly with Ushba Tesoro, uh, the leading Japanese contender, the Dubai World Cup winner, uh, who is uh, also among the favorites for the Classic. And I love the way he looks, too. He's really an imposing individual. When he gallops, he has kind of a swagger to him. I'm really interested to see uh, what he's going to do for us when he works. I've been told he's going to work a half mile on Sunday and then come back and maybe breeze an easy 3 eighths along with all the other Japanese horses next Wednesday. So we're looking forward to that on Sunday. Also, uh, from the Japanese contingent, our old friend Derma Sadagaki from the Kentucky Derby. Remember how we talked day in and day out about the long time that Derma Sadagaki would spend on the racetrack training up to an hour. Well, we did it again today, along with several other of the Japanese uh, contingent today. So Derma Sadagaki, he's going to be one of the long shots. He has not run in a while, so he's going to be one of the long shots in the Classic. Also uh, on the classic front, a work that was uh, also postponed today, kind of a similar situation uh, to White Barrio, and that's Go Rocket Ride. Uh, Go Rocket Ride was warming up on the training track. I, I wasn't sure what was going on. I thought he was actually going to work on the training track. He was alongside a pony. He had Jockey Mike Smith aboard. Actually, he was just warming up to come over to the main track uh, at the, after the break to work. But uh, they called an audible at the last minute because they weren't happy with the way he was feeling. Apparently his feet were a little bit tender. He was shod yesterday, and that was the reason for the problem. So right now, uh, they are scheduled to bring him back and try to work again tomorrow. That's Go Rocket Ride. White Barrel, like I said, was the uh, top name on a list of nine workers this morning. Some of the others who work. Where's My Ring and Dark Vintage? They were also in the dark. White Barrel working at 6.30. It's still pretty dark here. Hard to see these horses. Uh, both of them uh, went half miles crisp in 47 and change, both finishing in and among a crowd of horses. It was busy after the break and uh, they uh, kind of had to work their way in through traffic during their work. Slider uh, went five furlongs in company with his uh, familiar workmate, Baj, the trainer John Sadler, 59 and four, but very average on the gallop out, I thought, in 114. After the renovation break, we had a couple of Breeders' Cup workers after the second renovation break. Chattelass, who I like the way uh, this horse worked last week, came back with another good one today, just cruising all the way, five eighths in a minute and four fifths, and endlessly for Michael McCarthy, went in company a half mile in 48. Did it pretty easily, but I thought he was under a little more pressure than his workmate on the gallop out. Also on the training track, we had three works this morning, two of them for trainer Peter Erton, Flattery, who, uh, who worked well and looked uh, super on the gallop out, I thought. And Stay Hot, who was uh, uh, full of run right from the start and won a quick half mile in 47 and change. It did it easily for Peter Erton. And also Elm Drive, a quick horse who is in the uh, turf sprint, uh, was slowed down today. When I had the last half mile, it was an official 5 ace work. I had his last half mile in 49 and 4. As good as White Barrio was today, though, I'm going to save the best, my uh, star for the day, for last. And that was Cody's wish. He did not work. He galloped, but boy, did he gallop. He looked super today. 
he was absolutely breathing fire, pulling his rider out of the out of the saddle every step of the way. I put a watch on him at the half mile pole. He galloped his last half mile in 56 and change and wanted to do more, more, more all the way around that uh, exercise rider. I actually ran into Bill Mott a little later on this morning and uh, told him he owes that exercise rider a little bonus pay for what he went through this morning. And I'm gonna guess we're gonna see that right straight through. It's good morning for all of the uh, Bill Mott horses that were out there. Castle Creed was out there at the same time as Cody's wish, but he looked good as well. So they're gonna work back. Uh, Bill told me the uh, Friday uh, Breeders' Cup runners, the Friday Breeders' Cup runners will work tomorrow. The rest will work here Sunday, along with uh, dozens and dozens of others. It was also busy at a couple of other Breeders' Cup, uh, uh, Breeders Cup workers at other venues. Keelan had 17 possible Breeders' Cup horses on the work tab today, 10 of them from trainer Todd Pletcher. There was a bevy of them at Churchill Downs, also a couple at Belmont Park. And we've got them all covered for you for the Clocker Report. We've got uh, going to have reports on all of them, or just about all of them, uh, when that report comes out next week. So in the meantime, uh, there's plenty of action still to come on the workout front, so keep it right here for the best coverage on uh, Breeders' Cup 2023 anywhere on the web. It's at DRF.